أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على خير الأنبياء وسيد المرسلين حبيب الله العالمين المصطفى الأمين بالقاسم محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين الغر الميامين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين مهدي هذه الأمة وطاووس أهل الجنة الحجة بن الحسن المهدي روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفداء قال الله العظيم في محكم كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين آمنا بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم There is a recommended uh, salat for tonight the night of the 16th of uh, the month of Ramadan um, that says uh, it's from Amin Mumin Salawatullah wa salam alayhi that it says uh, whoever does it kharaja min qabrihi wa huwa rayyanun yunadi bi shahadati an la ilaha illa Allah hatta yarid al qiyamah fa yu'mar bihi ila al jannah bi ghayr hisab Allah that uh, whoever uh, performs this salat tonight, uh, he will uh, be raised uh, and his uh, thirst will be squinched and uh, he will be uh, saying La ilaha illallah uh, so until he enter the uh, the judgment day, the day that says that until he, until that day, and uh, they will order him to go to heaven without uh, asking him that what have he done in this life. Um, so this uh, salat is a 12 rak'ah with each rak'ah you read uh, Surah Al-Hamd once and Surah Al-Hakum at a very short Surah of Quran and uh, uh, that's 12th time as well. Keep in mind that you can do the Salat in, uh, uh, not in all in once. Um, you do one, uh, two rak'ahs and uh, Another two rak'ahs, like maybe an hour later, or four rak'ahs and uh, four rak'ahs and two hours later. So, uh, so you, if you can't perform it in one go, you can, uh, like in an installment, do it in uh, uh, over a period of uh, the whole um, night, inshallah. So it's twelve rak'ah. Each rak'ah is. The first is uh, reciting Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen uh, and uh, the second thing is 12 time Surat Al-Hakum Al-Takathur and then again you can perform it uh, while sitting or uh, even uh, walking. Amir Mu'mineen Salawatullahi wa Salaamu Alayhi says that ما كان الله ليفتح على عبد باب الشكر ويغلق عنه باب الزيادة ولا ليفتح على عبد باب الدعاء ويغلق عنه باب الإجابة ولا ليفتح لعبد باب التوبة ويغلق عنه باب المغفرة سو أمين ومين صلوات الله وسلام عليه and peace of blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon him said that it's not such as that Allah to whom belongs might and majesty keeps open the door of gratitude for a person and closes the door of plenty upon him. There is, as I recall, another hadith in uh, Nahj al uh, uh, I hope I'm not mistaken. 
that uh, this bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this na'mas of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this goodness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you see uh, like uh, part of it, uh, it's, it's a chain, it's, uh, has, it's uh, continuous. So if you do, if you don't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you're supposed to, uh, you will cut that short. Um, and shukr, of course, it's uh, first it's said and is performed as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I'malu ala Dawood shukra. Like as a performance that, of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept when you uh, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like, for example, it's mustahab recommended to do two sujood after each salat or after your salat. And uh, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying at least eight times, ash-shukrullah, ash-shukrullah, ash-shukrullah. So that as well will mend your salat. There was any shortcoming if you've been distracted. Um, so, if you want more in this life, ask Allah uh, thanks Allah, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by uh, doing your obligation. When you see it's, uh, uh, you're healthy, when you see that uh, you don't need uh, someone in order to do your salat, uh, perform your salat better. Uh, that goes as well for, uh, as, uh, Brother Sid Hussain here said uh, regarding uh, donating, giving, giving charities. And it's one of the best things that you can do through and during this month of Ramadan. If you look at the Ahl uh, Bayt, Salawatullahi wa Salaamu Alayhim, narrations, and uh, look at what they did throughout these months. And one of the things that they did a lot. Of course, it was through all their lives, but uh, it was giving to people. And today, of course, it's night now, but uh, it's we're still celebrating the birth of Karim Ahl Bayt, Al Imam Al Hassan Al Mushtaba, Salawatullah wa Salam Alayh. If our Imam gives, we should give as well. So, Amir uh, Mu'min Salawatullahi wa Alayhi says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He opens, opens the door for you to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens that door for you to thank Him, gives you the opportunity to thank Him, He will not close the door for plenty, for things more to come from the same door. And uh, or that he opens the door of prayers to a person and closes the door of acceptance. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is special times, like the times of the uh, month of Ramadan. The heavens door, the doors of uh, heavens are open. The door of the uh, above is open. So. It's the best time to do more prayers, inshallah. So I know that the, uh, and he will not ex uh, close the door of acceptance upon his servant. The best thing as you already, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, know one of the things that uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, that don't leave this month of Ramadan without making sure that you have been uh, forgiven. So do your best. Our skin, our eyes, our delicate uh, body, can't handle hell. We cannot handle a small thorn into our eye or a small bacteria infecting our body, yet alone to be burned 
for thousands and thousands of years and we don't know whether it's years of this life or the days and years of hereafter which equals each day 50,000 years so and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or that he opens the door of repentance for a person and closes the door of forgiveness upon him oh Allah we heard from the from the your truthful prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam that this is the month of forgiveness this is the month that you forgive your servants at the beginning you forgive us at the at the middle and towards the end you forgive even more so we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all our sins we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive the sins of our fathers and our mothers and all the mu'mineen and mu'minat barakat salat ala muhammadin وآله الطيبين الطاهرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته